I'm really ridiculously obsessed and passionate about entrepreneurs. And the reason why, and obviously I'm biased to say this because I am one, is every day they get up to create a better world for the rest of the population to live in. I think it's really special. So um, this is really popular with people for some reason. Uh, don't listen to your parents. And it actually is based on logic. When you're starting to learn to ride a bike, most of your parents, when they're kind of holding the back seat of the bike and you're off, like they tell you stuff because they don't want to see you totally take a fall, right? You know, and that's, that's a, like a biological reaction. So as you grow up as, you know, a young adult, uh, your parents, you know, when you go to your parents with these crazy ideas, like I want to move halfway across the country to go to university, or I want to not go to university to go start a company, it's very logical for them to kind of give you feedback, like maybe you should not do that. Motivation is everything. I actually believe motivation trumps knowledge. I don't know how to do anything the first time I go out to do it. And that is entrepreneurship at its best. It really is that simple. It's like, what's entrepreneurship? Doing something even if you don't know how to do it, right? And just trusting you're gonna figure it out in near real time, like just in time learning so that nobody catches you. That is the job of an entrepreneur, is to lead people into battle and not tell them how scared you are <laughs> or how bad it's gonna be. Um, and I really believe that if you can figure out your motivation for why you're to do this, or if you can create some kind of commitment to somebody else, to, to some external person, you're going to stay in battle when most people would give up. I believe this in my heart. You can, you can achieve anything if you're willing to help other people achieve their dreams. It's really that simple. Help other people without any purpose or any expecting anything in return. And the reason why I say hustle is because you actually got to bring a level of energy to it. You got to like think about it consciously when you meet somebody. If you've never whispered these words, you don't get it yet. And the words are, how can I be helpful? If you're talking to an entrepreneur or somebody else and they're telling you about their idea and you're excited for them, you should ask them, how can I be helpful? There's a quote that says, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. I believe that 100,000%. If you do not have the level of success that you want in your life, look around. Are you still hanging around with that high school friend that's always stoned? Right? You know what I'm talking about. And I can't tell you how important it is to surround yourself with people that get where you're at in your career and what you're trying to accomplish because they'll get it. And if all they say to you is what you're experiencing right now is very normal, don't freak out, you'll solve it. That can take the weight off your shoulders and give you the power and the kind of the energy to keep going. And that lesson, I use it every day. I always kind of look around me and say, who do I spend the most time with? Because if there are people that aren't supporting me, aren't pushing me to think bigger and more creative ideas, then I got to kind of edit and be okay with that. As long as you stay in the game and keep swinging, eventually you're going to hit the ball. So it's really not about failure today. It's really about, you're going to fail. I, I like to say, often wrong, never in doubt. Right? I was never doubtful that someday I was going to make it work. I just didn't know if it was this idea or the next. And I didn't care, because I wasn't going to stop. So just remember that even if you have failure today, that's normal, very normal. Talk to any entrepreneur, they're going to tell you. Just get it out of the way so you can move on to the next one.